Now, now, so this is something I talk about a lot. You talk about a lot. And man, this is the male female dynamic, man, woman dynamic. Uh, man, this, I, in my opinion, this is the, this can be the most challenging and the most rewarding relationship that we can have from men and women. Mm -hmm. uh, what what is the problem? I know you talk about this a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. What what is the problem? The main problem or problems we face, and really coinciding and connecting with one another. And what's the solution? What's the recipe to resolve? Man, I think I think the problem is, and and I'll be honest, bro. Like like this is something that I'm still learning on a, on a daily basis, man. Like and, and to be honest, I I I really wasn't even on the right. I was I wasn't even close until I was over 40 years old, 41, 42 years old. Me too. But I think the problem is, bro, I don't I don't think we we really understand when I say we we as a as a whole, the collective doesn't really understand what a relationship is really supposed to be, like the purpose behind it, the power behind it. Like like we're we're so trapped into, you know, being attracted to someone because she got a big, you know, donkey or, or whatever that we really completely lose what a relationship is. Even when two people get together and love each other, it's like, it's like okay, we love each other, but, but if we don't have that connection, because there, there's a difference between being attracted to somebody and being connected to somebody. Yes. Brother, once you're connected, brother, it, it, it all makes sense to me. But, but the thing is, a man has to be in the right mindset, right? Right. And, and it goes back to this whole, it goes back to the whole blue pill, red pill dynamic. Like that, that's very, that's a very important, a bo important piece, man. Because, right. because like when you talk about brothers being blue pill, like, the, you know, with us being like, 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 like whole single mother situation or single parent household, let me say that. Like right. that's, that's fairly new. That's a new right. thing. Right. You got to understand like, 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 like my age, like we're the first pretty much wave of brothers coming out of that. So we're the product of that. So we're the product of really not knowing what a what a what you know having a man in the household was like. So a lot of brothers are blue pill. That shifted the dynamic because because now we're asking women to be certain things to guys that can't even tap into their masculinity, and then that kind of just threw everything. Where and I'm not saying that's the that's the, the beginning of it because it, it goes way back. But but then it, you know the dynamic it's always been back and forth. They cause women to call you know react a certain way. Now men are are going to the complete opposite end. Now they're red pill. Right. And now they're like, you know, now, now, now we have control again, but, but it, it's too far. It, there's no balance. Right? right. And, you know, if you, if you listen to a lot of guys and it's not all red pill content, but I can have some red pill guys come on my channel. And they'll say, if I make a, a video about women or relationship, they say, Hey, you know what? That, there's no sense of saying this, leave all women alone. And, and they'll think that that's the right move. But it's right. like, brother, think about what you're saying. It's like, right. if that's the right move, then, then in a hundred plus years, we'll be extinct. Right. If every man just shuts down and stops talking to women. Like, like, so Brothers, you have to understand that's not the right answer. No. But I, and, and again, man, I think red pill community, red pill information, red, even the harsh red pill stuff. I think it's needed. I think it's I, I think it's keeping brothers from taking their lives. I think it's it is it's letting brothers recalibrate. But the thing is, you you can't stay there. You you can't live in that energy, man. You got to go there and vent and heal and then come out of it, man. And the thing is this, man. And, and, and I'm saying like I'm just now really understanding, brother. And, and a lot of it, like, I, I can look at you and Yaya, man, and I can see that balance, man. I can see when y'all talk, like, like the first time I saw y'all communicate, I can see you in your, in your dominant masculinity, and I can see her, her femininity, and I can just see the cohesion. And right. I was like, bro, you don't see that a lot, man. Yeah. And, and I, I'll be honest, but I'm just now understanding later in life that, that dynamic. But here right. in the last year, what I'm understanding now, man, bro, like, like, I understand now why, you know, the system, you know, wants men and women apart. I get it now because I understand that once, if a, if a man is in balance and a woman is in balance and they come together, brother, that's where God lives. Man. Like, like that's where God lives. You know, and that's, that sounds like cliche, you know, where two people are under. Brother, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. If you, if you have a woman that, that, that's tied to you, tied to your purpose, pointing you, brother, there's nothing you can't do. Nothing. And, and, and I say I was saying that before I even experienced it because I knew it to be true. Once I once I experienced what it, what it felt like for a woman to pour into me, man, and saw my world multiply, right. I understood it, man. 
And I said, this is why they want to keep everybody apart. This is why our music is about B's and H's and da 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 da. Because if we all come together, man, and, 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 and link up and connect, bro, right. like like right. the world would change overnight, man. Overnight. So so in a nutshell, man, like the like I'm just not understanding the, the, the dynamic, man. And I, I understand fully now that when a man and woman come together, like once we get past all this toxic stuff we're talking about, and, and two healthy people come together, man, like like it goes back to what Napoleon was saying in a uh, out with the devil. Right. When he was talking to that source, you know, he was he was in he was in tune. He was, you know, and he had, he asked that entity. He said, "How did I get here?" <laughs> right. He said, "Because of your wife." Like like yeah. like y'all came together, but like you're superhuman now. Yes. You know, yes. and I think that even some people that are married and happy and loving, some people still don't understand what that's like because they're still like, you know what, boo, fine. Or well, my husband's you know six foot five and chocolate, so yeah. I love him, and that's a good thing. We got beautiful kids, but right. if you don't have that connection, brother. But once you experience it, it's like this. It's like this. Once I experience experience what it was like to have a connection with a woman, brother, all that other that physical stuff, right. it, it was it became secondary instantly. It's like okay, yeah, you know, you think, yeah, we, you know, but if we don't have that 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 oneness, it's like man, right. I have no smoke, for it. like I have no interest in it, you yeah. know. Yeah. So yeah. Man, yeah, relationships are a powerful thing, brother. Powerful. Man, I agree. I, and I don't know. I don't know. Mo I don't know if most people realize this, men and women, that. In my opinion, like the woman is the supercharger. Like mm -hmm. I could do some pretty, pretty awesome things by by myself, but <laughs> connected to my wife, I, I've done some some extraordinary things, man. That I'm telling you, people would think I made it up. You know, mm -hmm. they would think I made this stuff up, man. Uh, the things I've done, and uh, it just you know I go to another level. And I used to mm -hmm. wonder why. Um, I used to wonder why I always mm -hmm. wanted my 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 wife with me. You know, um, when I would go out and I, then I finally realized, I was like, man, you know what? She balances me <laughs> when I'm out because I'll be real, bro. I could be I could be sometimes super aggressive, a lot, a lot of masculinity in me, you know, and, and um, I hate to use the word alpha. But mm -hmm. even the brothers that I that are drawn to me and I'm drawn to mm -hmm. like we we have a certain thing in common. Right. And so it could be a lot of testosterone. So when I got my wife with me, man, it just brings me down. It just gives mm -hmm. me some balance, man. When I'm out here walking this, yeah. this world, brother, it, it really does, yeah. man. And you know uh, what else, man? yeah, like, like, and the thing is too, and I'm, again, I'm just not learning this late in life. A man, a man had, and I, and I thought about that when you talked about the whole, you know, you walking too much, too much masculinity and balance you out. Right. Like a man, a man has to know how to utilize a wife. Mm. Like, 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 there's no sense in having a powerful tool there if you don't know how to use it. And if a man is too much in his chest bumping and da da, I'm the man. I'm saying everything right. He, he's, he, he might as well be single, bro. Yeah, he lost. Like, 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 I'm telling you, like, once a man, once a man, come, you know, and I don't want to say come down, but once he understands that his wife is a tool for him, that she's there to help him. Right. It can put her in, put her in a position of energy to do that, brother. Your your woman can pour so many nuggets in you, man. She right. will have your cup overrunning, brother. Right. And I'm right. telling you, I'm just now learning this in life, man. Yeah, you man. Know. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what's so, man. Sometimes when we when I have to go to these mixers, entrepreneur mm -hmm. mixers, or, or different types of mixers, man. Sometimes I'll send my wife through the door first. Yeah. Yeah. Or even before we were married, I just wanted to test her to see if she could be what I needed. Mm -hmm. I asked her to go to this mixer by herself. And she was kind of nervous. <laughs> you know, uh, she had never done anything like that, but she mm -hmm. did it. And she was a success. But the thing is, man, my wife is very feminine. Of course, mm -hmm. she's beautiful, uh, but mm -hmm. she's very feminine and she's a people person. So she'll light the room for me sometimes nice. because i might rub people the wrong way because i'm so direct <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I, you know yeah. i'm so direct you know i've been called an a-hole i'm very yeah. direct but I, yeah. I think i'm tactful but i'm, I'm very direct where where she you know she's she's kind of different so she'll lighten the mood for me then i'll walk in sometimes depending on the situation and then mm. hey man that table's already set man yeah yeah yeah, that's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, like 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 a like a woman has to be she she has to be 
uh, like your reflection. Yeah. She she has to be you in a different body, man. Like 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 it, you know. And there are a lot of men that are married that yeah. that are in quote unquote happy relationships, but but they don't trust their wives enough for one to be in a room with with mm. a bunch of men, right. right? Or or to represent them. It's right. like you know, I know some brothers that it's like if you're not with your wife, she might be wild out a little bit. Just because I, you're I not know. There. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's like well, you can't move like that. She has she has to represent you. Yeah, like, like when you're not there, like for not even if you're not there in, in a room, if you send the wife to a mixture because you got to be at a different event, she's right. rep- when they look at you, they're saying they're saying it's the book. And I'm like, okay, you know, yes. on top of that, once you pass away, if say for example, God forbid you pass away before her, she's still representing you. Still representing. He's still, still representing you, man. Still. Like, 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 and I, and I use the I use the uh, the Martin Luther Coretta Scott King uh, yeah. scenario all the time. Most of us, the majority of us, oh, I now never saw Martin Luther King in person, but it's all, it's like we all know him personally, strictly because we can see how his wife still moved when she was alive. The right. way she carried herself was like, oh, okay, like that's right. that's who Martin was. Now right. I can listen to his message and and, 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 and close the loop. You yes. know, yes. it's powerful, man. It's powerful, the brother. You is powerful. Yeah, what's that scripture, man? I think you quote this a lot. Is that Proverbs thirty-one, which says the uh, uh, the people. The people in the in the uh, in the city, when mm. she walks through, the people in the city. Yeah, like, well, like when he walks, the, the people at the gate re- uh-huh. respect him. Yeah, be- because of her, I believe. I don't want to. Yeah. I, I yeah. didn't butcher yeah. that. It's, it's like, yeah. it, it is something like that. That's a powerful yeah. statement, bro. That's a very powerful statement, man. 